Translation is crucial for bridging cultural and linguistic gaps, allowing people from different backgrounds to communicate and understand each other. It enables sharing of information and ideas globally, fostering mutual respect and understanding. Additionally, translation supports international business, education, and diplomacy by ensuring clear communication across borders. I am Nabil Murad. Excel has a new translate function used from and to over a hundred languages. In this tutorial, I show you some amazing dynamic uses of the translate function for contract agreements, instruction manuals, recipes, greetings card, newsletters, but the sky is the limit. No language barrier anymore. You can even start a translation business just with this new Excel function. Along the way, I show you the detect language function as well. So let's dive in. The translate function in Excel allows you to translate from and to over a hundred different languages. So here is the list of the languages that you can use and I'm going to put them in the description below the video. If you are a company selling a product that comes with an instruction manual, instead of just printing it in English, you can make it available in any language and clients can read it, let's say in Greek. So I click on this down pointing arrow and from the list I select Greek and here are the instructions in Greek. Here is a contract agreement for corporate training between the Office Instructor Training Center and one of our clients. It's great to make the contract available and clients can read it in their own language. So if I'm teaching a client in Germany, I can easily translate it to German. From the drop list, let's select Portuguese and here is the contract agreement in Portuguese. I downloaded this recipe for a delicious fried rice with shrimps, but unfortunately it's in Chinese. But I want to prepare this recipe, so I'm going to translate it in Excel. I select a language from the drop list and I want it in English. And here are all the ingredients and the directions in English. I also created this beautiful greetings card in Excel. You can see the greetings for a Happy New Year in 10 different languages on the greeting card and there is a nice picture in the upper left corner. But I can use it for any other occasion just by switching from a drop list. So if I want to create a birthday greeting card, I click on the down arrow and I select Happy Birthday. The picture changes and now you can see the wording and the greetings in any language. I can also switch to another occasion so if I select congratulations on your success, the picture changes and the greetings appear in any language. For the first time ever, this month, we sent the Office Instructor newsletter to our subscribers in a way that they can read it in any language. So here is the newsletter in Greek, although I don't know Greek. You can also see the flag corresponding to the selected language. So if someone wants to read it in Russian, I just select Russian from the list. All the wording of the newsletter has changed to Russian and you can see the corresponding flag. I can select another language. Let's say I want it in French. I select French. The flag changes and all the wording of the newsletter is now in French. Celebration de la Fête du Canada. Now we are going to create this newsletter from ground up in Excel. In preparation for creating my newsletter, I created this table. It showed the different languages to which I want to translate and it shows the code of the language because the translate function doesn't use the name of the language, it uses a code and abbreviation for the language. I also inserted inside each cell the flag corresponding to each language. And now I'm ready to create my project. I go to the demo worksheet. In the demo worksheet, I inserted the wording of my newsletter in column W. I also added the corresponding pictures. Here is the newsletter and the corresponding tutorials I want to share with my subscribers. 
Now I want to start building the project that allows users to switch and read the newsletter in any language. In cell G1, I'll be creating a drop list from which the user can select the corresponding language. Then I go to the data tab of the ribbon and on the data tab of the ribbon, I click on data validation. I want a list, then I select list. I put my blinking cursor in the source box and now I go to the data worksheet to select the different languages. I'll be selecting the languages from column A, where I hit OK, now I would have created the drop list. I can select any language I want. I'll be selecting for now, let's say, Italian. And because the translate function doesn't use the name of the language, I want to extract the abbreviation. In my table, I have the code in column 2, and I have the flag in column 3. I also named this table translation. So I go back to the demo worksheet and I create either a VLOOKUP or an XLOOKUP function. I type equal VLOOKUP and then I hit tab. I'm looking for this text in cell G1. I type a comma. My table array is the translation table. I type translation and then I type a comma. I want a code which comes from column 2 and then comma 0 for an exact match. I close the bracket and then I hit enter. I get the abbreviation IT. Now I'm ready to create the translate function. In cell A3, I want to translate the text in cell W3. Then I type equal translate and then I hit tab. What would you like to translate? I want to translate the text in cell W3. I then type a comma. What's the source language? You can select any source language from the list or you can type it in double quotation. If you don't type anything, that will consider my source language as English because it's the default language in the operating system I'm using. Then I'm going to skip this argument. I want to translate from English and for the destination language, then I'll be selecting my VLOOKUP function in cell G2. I want to lock this cell because I intend to copy down. Then I hit F4 and I close the bracket and then I hit enter. Automatically, I get the translation from English to Italian. I want to copy down then I hover over the lower right corner and because I already have some formatting applied, I want to copy down without the formatting. From the little options tag, I want to select fill without formatting and everything has been translated while preserving the formatting. The next thing I want to do, these are static pictures that do not change, then I want to copy them. I click on the first one I press Ctrl and click on the second one, press Ctrl, click on the third, press Ctrl, click on the fourth one, and then press Ctrl and click on my signature. I want to copy them, then I press Shift and Ctrl and drag and I have the pictures in place. These are static pictures. How in the world do I get the picture of the flag, which is dynamic, and it changes by changing the language from the drop list? To do that, I'm going to create a VLOOKUP function in cell W2 that extracts the flag from my translation table, equal VLOOKUP. My lookup value is cell G1, and there I type a comma. My table array is the translation table, and there I hit tab to select it, and there I type a comma. I want to return value, the column index number is 3, comma zero for an exact match. I close the bracket and when I hit enter, I get the flag corresponding to the selected language. But this part, starting from column W to the right, will be hidden. I select cell W2 having my VLOOKUP function. I click on the copy command and now I want to expand my outline. I click on this plus sign and then I go back to somewhere in column H. I click on the down arrow for the paste command and I select link picture. This is a link picture, then it's dynamic. It moves on top of the grid and I can resize it in any way I want. Now we want to test. 
I click on the down arrow and let's say I want my newsletter in Chinese. I select Chinese. Here is the flag corresponding to China and all the newsletter is now in Chinese. That's beautiful. I can switch to another language. Let's say I want to translate it to Spanish. I select Spanish and here is the newsletter in Spanish and this is the Spanish flag. Then I'm going to hide this abbreviation by changing the font color to white and I would have finished creating my project. There is another function that complements the translate function. So if you have some text and you don't know the language of this text, then you can use the detect language function. Very simple function. If I type equal detect language, I want to detect the language of cell A3. I close the bracket and I hit enter et voila. This is French. And because I can change the text here, from a hidden drop list in cell F1. So if I select this language, the detect language tells me this is Portuguese. You can also translate from a language that you don't know by combining the two functions together. So in cell A8, I'm going to type equal translate and then I hit tab. What would you like to translate? I want to translate this text in cell A3. I type comma. What's the source language? I don't know. Then I use detect language. I open bracket. I click on the same cell. I close the bracket. I then type a comma. And let's say I want to translate it to English. Then in double quotation, I type the code EN. I close the double quotation, I close the bracket for the translate function and when I hit enter, here it is. We offer corporate training courses. I can hover over the lower right corner and copy it down and I was able to translate all the text although I didn't know the source language. If you found value in this tutorial, Give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.